Hello, welcome again. And I am Dr. Ahmed Kara from Kocaeli University Medical Faculty. Today in this session I will uh, talk about the screening automated autom auditory brainstem response. And at the end of this today, uh, I hope all of you, you should, will be able to perform the automated ABR test and the others. And know uh, about the problems and solutions about the uh, problems that may occur during test procedures. As it is known, uh, auditory brainstem response is a neurologic test of auditory brainstem and cochlear nerve function in response to auditory stimuli. And the automated ABR test is very effective in the evaluation of hearing screening in newborns with a sensitivity and specificity greater than 95%. To screen the normal hearing, each ear is evaluated independently with a stimulus presented at an intensity level of 35 uh, or 40 decibel sound pressure level. The automated ABR test uh, devices usually use click stimulus, uh, which is highly correlated with hearing sensitivity in the frequency range from uh, 1 to 4000 uh, Hz. And as it is known, this frequency range is usually used in common uh, daily language, speaking language. Uh, the click stimulus uh, generates a response from the uh, hairy cells of the cochlea and this signal travels along the auditory pathway uh, from the cochlear nerve and to the midbrain. And this electrical activity is measured by the electrodes uh, which are put onto the scalp. And this is the basis of the test. The ABR equipment uh, which are used in newborn hearing screening is named as automatic ABR because this kind of devices uh, use a standard and fixed test protocols and the results are uh, given as pass or referred. Uh, not detailed uh, results are given this kind of, uh, by this kind of uh, devices. Before the test, the most important thing uh, is the baby's comfort because a crying or moving baby uh, may cause artifacts uh, in the test. To provide this uh, it is recommended that the baby must be fed uh, about an hour before the test and the baby's gaze must be relieved before the test. The other uh, recommendation is the baby must be fixed gently by wrapping with a cover and then the test may be performed on the examination table or parent's lap. The other important thing is uh, the test environment as it mentioned before. Uh, because the automated ABR test may be affected from the acoustical and electrical interference in the test environment, for example, the fluorescent lamps or, or uh, the electronic devices in the test room may affect the results. So that the caref a careful selection of local test area or room may be necessary in order to achieve satisfactory environmental conditions. The other important thing is disinfection procedures and uh, it is recommended that the electrodes, cables and props must be cleaned after the test and if it is possible the electrodes and uh, ear props uh, must be disposable and testers should wash their hands truly before and after testing. After these preparations uh, we can start the test procedure uh, and in this presentation uh, the test procedure is divided in three titles as preparation of the skin, choice of electrodes and application, and insertion of the ear earphones or props. Cleaning of the skin is very important for the test to decrease the impedance between the electrodes and skin, and to achieve this, the skin should be abraded by using a suitable sterile abrasive electrode pest and clean gas. However, during this procedure, an extreme care must be adopted to avoid uh, skin injuries to because using a harsh skin preparation material may cause skin irritations. As it is mentioned before, disposable electrodes uh, should be used at all times, but, but if it isn't possible, uh, the electrodes must uh, and the electrodes and ear props uh, must be cleaned after test. Uh, there are three electrodes in the ABR test. Uh, they are a negative electrode, a positive electrode and a common electrode. The negative electrode is placed onto the ipsilateral mastoid 
or nape of the neck and the positive electrode is placed at the midline of high forehead as near as possible to fontanella but not onto the fontanella. The common electrode uh, is placed onto the contralateral mastoid or on the forehead but at least 4 uh, cm from the positive electrode. Uh, TDH39 or 49 headphones or insert earphones may be used uh, for ABR test but uh, after the stabilization of the probes uh, anyone shouldn't touch the earphones during test and the cables of the electrodes and uh, earphones must be arranged to pass over the baby set not over the body to remove the artifacts uh, to reduce the artifacts after the setting we can start, start the test uh, with a with only a button, uh, with pushing uh, to only a button uh, on the, the computer. In this procedure, uh, we may experience some problems during the test, uh, such as high impedance, muscle artifacts, or electrical noise. Uh, the electrode impedances must be in limits of uh, 1000 and 1000 to 5000, and values greater than 5000 means, means high impedance and it means that uh, the contact power between the electrode and the skin is weak. In such a case, the skin cleaning procedure must be repeated or the electrode placement areas may be changed. The other important problem is muscle artifacts, uh, which are usually caused by the muscle contractions due to baby, baby's body movements, sobs and uh, sucking movements. If the baby is stable, the reason of these artifacts may be due to eye movements too. To reduce the muscle artifacts, as it is mentioned before, the baby must be fed uh, about one hour before the test and uh, must be relaxed. And if it is possible, uh, the baby must put into sleep. Uh, and the other recommendation is to reduce the neck muscle artifacts, a pillow or a hand may be put uh, under the neck. The electrical noise uh, is important too. Uh, the electric, it, is no, it is caused by the electronic equipment in the test room. And to reduce this problem, uh, we must turn off all of the unnecessary electronic equipment in the test room. And if the problem is still going on. Uh, we may change the cables or change the room and uh, check the cable positions and uh, check the impedance again. As a recommendation, if the test takes over uh, more than 15 minutes or something is wrong, uh, stop the test and make sure that if the sound comes from the probe and if it is not, uh, check the whole system, cables, electrodes and probes. After the test, uh, remove the probes and electrodes and as it is uh, mentioned before, if the probes are not disposable, clean them with special cleaning materials such as ethyl alcohol or propanol at, uh, at a concentration of 70 to 80 percent. As a result, if the baby passed the test, uh, you may say to the parents that there is no problem, but if it isn't, there is two possibilities. One of them is the baby has hearing loss, and the other one is the wrong test procedures. Uh, and it may be due to inadequate uh, skin cleaning, inadequate probe insertion, wrong placement of the electrodes, or crying or moving baby, and maybe there may uh, be some blood, vernix, and uh, any other fluids in the external auditory channel. In such a situation, uh, there is no need to repeat the test uh, on the day but uh, it is important to give an, another appointment to the parents before the baby uh, will be a month year old. As a conclusion, the ABR test procedure is easy, quick and user-friendly test procedure with high sensitivity and high specificity test results. It is an objective test and it is portable for flexible implementations. Thank you.